arrived in Marycourt. We had a stop off at Tea Bay on the way up from Wigan. Daryl's just sorting out charges. Pippa's just getting out. Looks a bit windy. And Nab wants to see what's going on. Needs a bit of weight in it. Yeah. I need to buy some um, bin bags while we're. Where are we? Maryport. Maryport. Welcome to Maryport. So, Maryport's the first stop on our long weekend away in Cumbria. Pip desperately wanted to see the sea, and we've not seen the sea for a while. And we've not been to Maryport before. So we thought this was a place to come. And apparently there's quite a lot to see, including three museums. Tap breezy. And this will be nice to see at night because it looks like it lights up. So if we're still here later, we'll have to come back and look. So keep watching, just in case. At high tide, this bridge is raised to allow boats into the inner harbour. It is still a fishing port and there is a fleet of trawlers based here. Two big trawlers over there. And we've seen on another video on YouTube that some of these trawlers still sell their catch to the locals on the harbour side. On the quayside, so I'm not. Uh, don't think there's anything today, though. So this is one of the boats that they sell fish from, the Chilaris. This is looking promising for a coffee later. Always sad when you find a memorial. In 
In memory of three lives lost at sea after the capsizing fishing vessel, vessel Aquila, Aquila, in Scotland on 20th of July 2009. Three sons of Mary Port who never came home. There's a private marina here. It's some very nice yachts. Some very nice cruisers. And over there, that says on it, Northwestern Protector. Can't tell whether it's uh, border force or what. I can't see what it says on the top. It's a catamaran. So we're off to the aquarium for a brew first. We would never dream of going for a coffee, but Pippa insisted, so. Did you see that look? Did you? We got that look. That's the one. Bacon butties. Aren't we good? We are. We have bacon and coffee. Look, and you had a tea. I did have fancy the tea. We yeah. haven't had pudding, have we? No. Look at that. Go away. I told you, if it's not on my vlog, it didn't happen. <laughs> it's very nice. It is very nice. <laughs> it was the last piece. You took it out of our mouths. We could have shared it. I offered that. you, and you said no, and it was just as well, because I'd have had to be polite and offered it to you two. But because you said no, and it was the last piece, I could just eat it all myself. And not feel any guilt at all? No, not at all. Holiday, what is it? Calories on holiday don't count. Apparently so. Mm. This is as well as the beetroot cake that you bought earlier. <clears throat> and, and... Enough now. What else? Nobody wants to hear what you have That's to say, Daryl. Blackberry tart. Nobody wants to hear what you have to say. Stop with this. Roll. And a sausage roll. And a bacon butty that you'll justify by saying, well, that was gluten free. That was the only thing that was gluten free. <laughs> <laughs> she is incorrigible. I'm encouraged. <laughs> oh. It had a full flower pattern on that before. Yeah. There's not even part of the petal left. I was going to say, it's about all we could afford. Unless they belong to Russian oligarchs. Then we should get them for free. Let's go and see some fish. So here we go. Poses. It's not a stickleback. No. You're so cute. Oh, 
I used to catch stickleback. Sticklebacks. Maybe he was that shape and he just got a bit squished. Very likely. I want to know what that is. That's really cool. Thin on the top and bottom of it. What's that? Skiddy one. He's got a little thing on the top and bottom. You know around these the the things on the side. Yeah. Back in the top and bottom. Very popular. Yeah. What's that feeding them? This is uh, mackerel, sprat, squid, mussel, prawn. Um, just a lot of sort of food that we've chopped up. Uh -huh. Seafood salad. Exactly, exactly. These fish eat better than me. <laughs> <laughs> Visited a couple of aquariums in our time, but so far, and we only just started. This is the best. So much information. King scallops, cork, wing, rust, all sorts. Information about the Solway Firth and the intertidal mud habitats. Waving at me. <laughs> Coming out. So he's hugging one of those things or thinking about eating it. And these are moon jellyfish. Go in there. I've got some squid, mm -hmm. some mackerel, and I've got a nice long stick. I don't have to get anywhere near. <laughs> yeah. Arms not going in there. <laughs> no, no way. Have they got really big teeth? No, um, just little ones. They have little teeth, but just very sharp. Powerful. Yeah, like Dinner time. Oh, he's like, yo, oh, yeah, I know what that means. Yeah. <laughs> 
Magic. See ya. They are, yeah. Oh, I love that one. That didn't last long, did it? Attacking the stick. Oh, you dropped it. It's there! It's there! You've got to catch it! You silly thing. It's there! I'm not very... <laughs> silly snake. These aren't jellyfish, but plastic bags floating, and that's why they're so dangerous to marine life. They uh, they look like jellyfish, so they try to eat them, and they're eating plastic. And there's the real jellyfish. Piranhas. Tell me about piranhas. It's all a myth. Was it only a dream? <laughs> so they... Theodore Roosevelt went to Brazil and he was a naturalist as well and they put on a show so they got hungry piranhas and also put in a, a, a carcass so there was a feeding frenzy and he went on to say that they were the most ferocious fish in the world and they name stuck or the reputation stuck they would they do eat scavenge and eat dead body dead uh, bodies but not really attack life things i think and they're not really that aggressive itself no. oh, you've got a bad rep that's why they look so grumpy <laughs> i still wouldn't like to put my fingers in there we could test the mix, couldn't we? <laughs> <laughs> Should we draw straws for it? No, I'm brave. I'll do it. I like to tickle a fish. And here we come to a sad sign of the times. That we've got to have a display about it. How long until things leave the sea? And the latest thing, of course, are getting dumped everywhere. What have you seen? I used to have one of those, a silky shark jawbone. Left it at school when I left teaching. So how did you come to have one of them? I don't know, I just acquired it from somewhere. I think I acquired it from the school that was shutting down and carried it with me to when I went to Derby. So it just stayed with me. You can see on this one where out the teeth are replaced, lining up in the bottom of the jaw, uh, the, the gum, and just replaced as they're ripped out. The jaw is the only bit of the shark that you'll find because it's a cartilaginous fish. It's what? A cartilaginous fish. So the bone isn't bone, it's cartilage. Right. And so it doesn't, apart from the jaw, it doesn't. Uh, Saliva. You can't say it after you've not had a drink, you've only had tea. Cartilaginous. You think? <laughs> Cartilaginous. That doesn't sound right. Cartilaginous. 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 It's like learning to say supercalifragilistic. It's like Welsh. Cartilaginous. Cartilaginous. Guess what? Cartilaginous. I want to test you on that later. Oh, forget it. I was saying, I had one of those when I was a teacher. 
silky shape shot. Oh. Have you lost it? I left it. It was in the left classroom the left there. <clears throat> so we're in Maryport and there's a link to the mutiny on the bounty. The HMS bounty. Fletcher Christians, Fletcher, no, Fletcher Christians actually came from this area. Now it's time to have a look at the shop. Yeah, it might be having to replace some of her resources. We're armed. And dangerous. Oh, I certainly will be. Mm -hmm.